Hello guys and welcome to this week's informal introduction. Today I will be introducing you to Braille. Let's begin. Braille was invented by none other than Louis Braille. He used the language that Napoleon made called night writing and changed it just a little bit. That's right, Napoleon invented the original language used for visually impaled people, but he used it as a way for his generals and his soldiers to read in the night, hence the name night writing. Now, why is this so important? This is language allows visually impaired people to read signs and know where they're going. Now, why is this important to you? Well, haven't you looked at those weird signs that have like the weird bumps under them and like, what is, why is there bumps on this? This doesn't make any sense to me. Well, it's braille. It's language so you can read it and I will teach you how to read it as well. At first sight of the wiki article, I was baffled. This was confusing. There was dots everywhere, boxes, cells. I had no idea what this was meaning or anything. Then I read and I skimmed down a little bit more and it said something about a three level encoding system. Man, this stuff is just crazy. Now let me just bring it back down. I'm gonna go over the basics of how this language works. Now we have the system, a box, which the box doesn't actually exist. You won't see that, but it's just the dots. Whenever a dot is filled through, it means that it's extruded, meaning that it's like a bump. Now, there are six in a normal box. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. That is how you determine what letter it is. Now, for each letter of the first 10 letters, it only uses the top four. Now, A is one, A, B is one, two, C is one, four, D is one, no, D is one, four, five, E is one, five, F is one, two, four, G is one, two, four, five, H is one, two, five, I is two, four, and J is two, four, five. As you see, we don't use five and, or three and six for the first 10 letters of the alphabet. Now, what it means by the three levels of encoding means that you now have the first 10 is your first level. Now you have the second level. Now to determine if it is A versus if it's K, you have the third dot filled in. Now in each one of the next 10 letters, we'll have the third dot filled in. So you have, whatever it is, it is the next 10, so you have a, the 11th number through the 20th number, all have the third level, and it's the exact same as it is before. Now what gets a little bit weird and wacky is how the third level works. It just doesn't have the W. You will just go through, exclude the W, but now it is the third and the sixth are both excluded. Now how W works is because in the French alphabet they didn't have the letter W. Now in the English alphabet you do, so they had to add it in somewhere. W, to remember that it's different from everything, you have to have, remember W, wacky, weird, wonky, doesn't make sense, it's different from everything, weird and wacky, it's now got two, four, five, six is W. Pop quiz time! Can you guess, or not guess, you're gonna figure out what it is, you know this stuff now. You're not gonna guess what this means, you're gonna figure it out for yourself because now you have the knowledge to do so. Can you figure out what this means? And if you do, put it down in the comments below. But as you can't really put this into a text box and put it down in the comments below and make your own for other people to find, just put down like, I don't know, just, what do you find interesting about this video? Because I know this is a very interesting language. Personally, I found that Napoleon being the person that made it was very interesting to me. I didn't know Napoleon had anything to do with this sort of language at all. And I found that kind of interesting. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up it shows support or something like that. I don't know, I've been told to tell people to like this video. That's really why I ask people to do it because I've been told to do it. YouTube, I see you up there trying to tell me to get likes or whatever. If you want to see more of these videos, they will come out every Friday. Um, if you want to get a notification when they come out, press the subscribe button and you have to press the bell to get notifications. Subscribe just tells you where my videos are. Now you also have the past video I did about Caesar's cipher. Interesting that both Napoleon and Caesar had their own language almost. It's interesting. Why, why don't I have my own language next? I don't know. I'll come up with that in a later date. But next time, next week on Friday, we'll be talking about sign language and how the whole hand stuff. I hope I didn't curse or something just there. I'm going to stop holding my hands. Anyway, if you like this video, see you later and I'll see you next time.